Well, 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 welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. There's a lot going on in this market, so let's get right into it. Starting out with what I am looking at, uh, this is the Solana bot. The Solana bot. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how I've been using it for about a quarter percent scalp strategy. So basically, Anytime the stochastic crosses up below 25 while the jewel turns white, that gives you a buy signal. The last buy signal flashed off here. And so I'm looking for a quick quarter percent move, which is just like that. Now, <clears throat> I did want to line this up with a little talk about the Fibonacci tool, the Fibonacci tool, because, well, I get a lot of questions about this tool. And um, needless to say, this uh, this little trade strategy is banging a lot of good trades in there. Um, <clears throat> over the last 230 trades, 85% were profitable. So eight and a half out of 10 trades. I don't know if you can ha take half a trade. I suppose you could have resulted in a profitable trade. So pretty cool there. But... Um, <clears throat> mainly wanted to talk about where Solana is in the grand scheme of thing as it is emerging itself as a bit of a um, competitor to Ethereum. Competitor to Ethereum. Now, I got, oh, by the way, it's on a 30 second chart. So pretty, pretty volatile, pretty wild. Um, and just wanted to take a look at Solana and where we're at in the grand scheme of things. Maybe we'll even be daring and pull it out on an hourly time frame, which is probably a good thing uh, that we do do that. And um, really, this is the main uh, consolidation we've been considering here. Let's use Wix as the market is a little bit more volatile, even though Solana seems to be kind of just slow and steady here. Um, but, <clears throat> okay, so M formation, right? Uh, you get the peak here, high volume candle, a lower high, we close below the middle wick, and bang right to the bottom of that perfect trade, right? So now we've got a well-established range. The price action pops it up to the 0.5 back to the bottom side of the range. So a bit of a double body, bottom, double bottom. And then yesterday, I actually had this called out and I took profits way too early. Uh, yesterday, I was looking at this as a nice W formation. And what am I talking about here? Well, this would be your W. Uh, or we could use that last leg as the W, right? But needless to say, sloppy W, whatever you want to call it. If you were looking at it as a W from this angle, which is where I was looking at it as a W, we were just waiting for a closure above this middle peak right here. I believe I entered the trade here, um, took some profits here, and then I entered, I think, again. I, I don't know, but uh, it was a painful trade, a profitable one, to say the least. And it looks like the bot is about to take some profits for me as we're speaking live on this little show, which is always nice. But I do think we're going to erupt for a bit more of a move, and I hate to cut myself short. Anyways, just getting back in our conversation here. Whether you want to call this the uh, W side or this the W side, doesn't matter. What matters is we broke above the middle wick. And could you have gotten it on the 15-minute time frame? I think that is, in fact, where I got it. Yes. 15-minute looking very good. We closed above that middle wick right there. I think I did take a long right here. 
suffered all the way back down. And then I still TP'd um, somewhere up here at the top side of the range. So not a horrible trade, but needless to say, we um, completed the W, which to be fair, uh, you would have kind of drawn it like that. So there's your W. And um, so we got a little bit higher. And where do we retrace back to the not 0.5? So the reason I'm bringing this up is um, a lot of people would have considered this the breakout. And, um, you know, on a 15 minute time frame, a lot of people got trapped up in that area. They sent it right back to the not 0.5, bounced. Double bottom off the not 0.5 is typically good for continuation, at least back to the top side of the range. So, uh, <clears throat> short term trade setup uh, for Mr. Solana it looks pretty good right now for a little long, even if you're late to the party. On the 15 minute time frame, do you put your stop there? Pretty nice uh, risk to reward ratio, I would say. Do we confirm this as a higher low? No. So uh, that's another thing is we would want to see. Shit, I should have took those profits. Anyways, I got to get back to managing this trade um, as the day is screaming along here, screaming along. Um, but essentially what I am looking at is just at least an attempt at the 786 again. So not 0 0.5, 786, and then kind of judge it from there. That would be my suspicion, guys. Um, but with targets all the way up back, as this does look like a bit of a W, right? So what, where's the W target? Where's the market trending? We're just going onwards and upwards. Boom. Okay, confirmed it. Higher, low, and technically, yeah, as long as we're you know, above this 15 minute higher low in the making, which we got six minutes left, uh, your technical target back up to the, you know, top side of the range. So pretty easy trade setup there. Is it going to happen in one shot? Probably not. Probably not. But let's goose the odds in the favor of the bulls right now. And get into some Bitcoin price action and take a look as I want to make this relatively quick. And um, essentially, uh, you know, quick invalidation back below 43,240. I do want to check out the liquidation levels here. Oh, it's so hard not to not to take these profits. Anyways, I have to limit myself to 20% a day. Otherwise, I will be here all day, every day, in and out of the day. In and out of the day. Just reminding us kind of the overall reversal lows before the breakout are coming in here. So if you missed the party and you want to get back involved, Somewhere along that trend line is probably going to be <laughs> attempted at some point. The question is, do we break out and grind up first? Do we break out and grind up first is the question. Um, let's see. So we're on a 15 minute time frame and we are ranging right now. Let's see where the liquidity lies for Solana. I'm just going to check in on that because, well, I think it's better to have some profits than not. That's what I get for being on stream. So Solana liquidity coming in at 64.74 is the top side there, current top side of the range. And that liquidity is coming in. I don't know how many billions or millions this is done off of, but it looks like the heat map says closest liquidity is headed to the upside at about 64.74. 
which I remember that number from yesterday, I believe. I want to check out the seven-day the seven day Busta Rhymes sheet. That one-minute time frame is just deceiving as ever. Let's go little Solana Bear. All right, here we go. Seven day time, one month time frame. Same thing. Liquidity is way, way up there. And probably going to get a push back off that 6407 level. Bitcoin, BTC, at least in the short term run. In the short term run for some fun. That's what I would say. And uh, Bitcoin again. So people are getting short. And I heard $100 million worth of shorts are getting liquidated every single day as people are still bearish out there in the markets. They don't know what's going to hit them uh, sideways between their forehead um, when Bitcoin becomes the next world reserve currency. No, I don't think that's what it's going to be. But Michael Saylor is talking about Bitcoin becoming a $100 trillion asset uh, in the next two years to a decade. He's saying, hey, look, that's all you need. That is all you need, two years to a decade. Um, and you own one-tenth of a Bitcoin and you will be set. That'll be your retirement plan. So two targets, 44.7 and 45.1 uh, to the upside. If this little continuation flag uh, resolves itself to the upside, this is on a one month. Let's see if the 12 hour says, if there's anything interesting in this area, I will surely check it out. Gosh, I do not like how they do the zoom feature on this thing, but hey, there is a link in the description below if you want to get yourself a heat map. 44.7 uh, and 45.3. That's the number in my head, guys. Uh, 45.3 short term target for Bitcoin. Why do I have that target in mind? Well, After a bit of a wiki consolidation here on the four hour time frame, just keeping it real simple. Yeah, 45.3 uh, would be the next short term target at the 1618 fib. And can we consolidate sideways for a little bit more? Yes. And if it does, well, uh, probably going to be good for alternate coins. You can see this thing here is. Putting in a nice sell actually on the four hour. This is a red sell signal. Um, if that sell signal was to fail, hmm, what would be the projected loss? That is the question. So as you can see, this one was a big loser. This one didn't really lose. It did come down, came down. So we're kind of getting the triple, quadruple cross. The stochastics are hanging out in the critical zone. And typically, what does that mean? Well, more pain and suffering for those less fortunate. I'm talking about the people that don't own Bitcoin. Yes, indeed. That is what I'm talking about. Um, am I going to give this one? a chance to break out. I do believe Solana wants to break out, guys. I want it I want it to pop right now. Uh FET. Let's go across the board really quick cuz there's not just Bitcoin. Oh, and look at our little roadmap of destiny that uh, we talked about Bitcoin coming up tagging 42,000, got a little bit higher. Apparently 445 is uh, the new high for the year. 445, that's pretty exciting. Uh, pretty darn exciting for this guy. 382786. All right, I'm not going to get greedy. I guess I'm not going to get greedy. All right. Uh, it looks like Ronald McDonald's head here. That would have been an upside move. So now where are we at? Well, 
Potentially the same circumstance could play out. And just looking at this long-term trend line. Longer term trend line coming in 40,000, we're at 44. So if um, we do have a little consolidation and a splurt down to 42, 48, and then a pop up to 48,000, I do think that more likely than not, uh, how would you look for a reversal? Well, oh, what happened? What happened? Okay. By the way, guys, play these on fast forward. If you want to learn something about crypto every day, put it on fast forward and then say, I'm going to listen 15 minutes every day, smash the like button, share it with a friend. I'm going to get into some altcoins in a second because uh, I know that's what everybody, at least from the gym, asked me about. Uh, Bitcoin now is for old people. Here's the reversal um, type of formation. Well, today is the middle of the week, so is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. And December 9th is coming up. Short-term highs and then reversal. Um, anyways, that's what you would suspect. So to the upside, tags the liquidity on Bitcoin, which is the first rack coming in at 44,350. So essentially, uh, if they're going to come for it this week, you know, it might not be today, but it might be the uh, slow stairway to heaven. I believe that's what they call it. Uh, and the stairway to heaven for Bitcoin, well, is our kind of ultimate target of 48,000, ultimate target. Um, and we did say, hey, look, leave room for a deviation, right? One last bull punch bowl move if we get that ETF approval alongside all the other momentums in the market um, you know Bitcoin could could pop up to 50,000 why not the golden pocket the golden ratio right above that 618 fib would be 487 the last little high 51,000 so remember timing here every, is everything in cryptocurrency land. It is the end all be all where all your dreams come true. And I'm gonna move that stop loss up as Bitcoin and everything is about to smash on through to the upside. That's looking healthy. So after the double bottom here, we did say, hey, look what's most likely to happen. What is most likely to happen is we're going to hit that 0.5618 FIB, which every time I draw it differently, apparently using candle bodies or candle wicks, you know, close enough is close enough. That would be uh, 42 to 48,000. And then what does price action typically do? So again, this is all timing going in back to the halving cycles, the next halving April, 2024. What is going to happen here is, <clears throat> let me get my prediction goggles out. Just kidding. Um, TA is not exact science, more of an art form. So deviation above the range and then pops back below. Okay, here's the having, And then 2024, bull market party all the way up to the 4236 uh, Fibonacci number. And uh, that's, well, in fact, what it's done every previous past cycle. It's gotten up there, not all the way to the 4236, which speaking of that, um, that was the last high to low, right? This is how the Fib tool works. We get a run up, by the way, from the high to the low, up to the 618 rejects back Coronavirus dump right before the halving and boom, all the way back to the 4236. So we are about two thirds into, the, no, one third into the bull market. And there's going to be a lot of opportunities, a lot of things to learn. I highly, highly recommend you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you just listen a little bit every day. Hit the fast forward button, guys. Don't listen to me talk all day on Bitcoin hit one and a half, two times speed, get through it quickly every day and it will make more and more sense to you over time. Um, 
Speaking of that parabolic blow off top target, um, one of the AI coins that we've been talking about, BitTensor Tau. It sounds like uh, it sounds like Panda Express, like Chinese food or something to me. But uh, same tokenomics as Bitcoin, AI coin for the future, um, TAO. And the reason I'm bringing it up because if you start to use the Fibonacci tool, TAO. We're at 339 right now. And um, we've been talking about this W formation, parabolic blow off tops, what happens? Uh, the wicks really start to get going here, right? So the wicks um, really start to make things party to the upside. When the market is volatile, you're going to see much greater and greater things, guys, when it comes to the Wix. But uh, there's where that 4236 is. We've been calling it out since down here at 50 bucks or 75, 80 bucks, whatever. Um, I got to get off this. I got to get back to work, guys. I got to get back to work. Anyways, W formation. This one's probably, uh, you know, running out of steam here sooner than later, sooner than later. And are we going to let the 786 be the judge? I do think it will sell off there short term. Anyways, fast forward this part, guys, as I'm adjusting those TPs right now. I do think I'm looking for explosive volatility on Solana, not this little slowly rolling up the hill like a camel. I do think going to be some room. Why don't I do this? I'm going to do it. Fuzz. Ah, that's what I did. So, at least... I minimum make what my TP would have been. All right, I'm good to go, guys. I'm good to go. Back in the game here. Tau. Parabolic blow off top target. If it is going to go for more, 411. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see if it does do that and probably goes for more than that because this is a brand new coin. Super, the gaming narrative. Down 8% today on the week. Uh, looks toppy. Looks like it has more to go to the downside before it does decide to recover. Um, before it does decide to recover. Interesting. And the next one up. Um, that I think is worth taking a look at. Gold short, short is in. Gold, time to be short gold. Don't think, uh, I, I think at least down to 1974. Perhaps back down to our little box right there. Um, I do like this one. Uh, it's called Robit, RLB. Came right into the 618 Fib and it does look like it is in for a bounce. Came right below the 618 fib on the daily f time frame. Getting a run down to the 236 is just pure luck, in my opinion, on this one. Oh, took me out, you punk. You punk. All right, time to turn that one back on. Mr. Solana Bot. Here we go. Soul, Soul BTC, Soul BTC. Too many little numbers. There we go. Anyways, roll bit. Um, gambling casino, tor casino, casino token uh, coming in off this two three six looks like uh, and really low liquidity guys. Um, okay, next one up that um, I've sand. Get back into the metaverse, sir. 
if you guys were around for sandbox, uh, pretty easy uh, trade setup here, I think. At least targeting uh, 60 cents. So something like this. Yep. I mean, not the best risk to reward. A little bit late. Would have wanted to get in on this on like a four. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What a punk. I wonder what my PNL ended up being. You son of a gun. Son of a gun. I cannot even believe that. Very disappointing by bit. Very, very disappointing. But I do think I will get back in on that. Dang. How do they do that to you? Take all your profits and put them in fees. Just wick you out of these trades too. That's what happens. That is what happens to the dirty old players on Bybit. Okay. Going a little bit more in. That's what you get. Take my long, sir. And then they don't take all your long. Then it's like half your order gets filled. And anyways, sand trade. I guess you could move it up to here if you feeling if you are feeling bullish. And pretty much entry at the top side of the range, not the best entry point. In fact, if you were smart, you would do this. And you would wait for the entry on the 618. If this one uh, is going to get a chance, I, w I, yeah, I wouldn't buy at the top side of the range. That, that would not be it useful. If it looks like I haven't slept for days, well, that's in fact what it is. Uh, when the market is like this, it is prime for the picking and you've got to take every opportunity and make sure you uh, protect the profits. Protect the profits, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Um, as Solana is slowly but surely bleeding on up. And am I going to get FOMO'd into another trade is the question. Because my, you know what happened is, this is what happened. My, my TP got hit. And it usually does get hit, and it gets hit a little bit early. Anyways, long story short, here's the setup for this one. A better setup would be, in fact, off the 382. Um, if this one does get pushed back one more time, do I think it's going to get pushed back one more time? I don't. I don't think so. And I want to get back onto my regular trading, guys. Um, I'm going to get back to my regular trading. OP. OP looks bullish. I think uh, this one probably takes a run back at those wicks up there. Invalidation back below here at 170. Casper. Did Casper hit our target? Casper is going to break out eventually. Eventually, she is going to break out like a beast. And that's what I think... Um, Solana's going to be doing. Uh, Solana looks very beefy. Matic, nice pullback. Cup and handle formation. Broke out. Here's the cup. And big target up for Matic. Uh, if we can get back above. Let's see here on the daily. Here on the daily. On the daily wire, sir. Here's what we got going on the daily for this one. And this is why I love those Fibonacci tools so much is you can do a little retracement like that. Same thing on Solana. Bit of a retrace, hit the 618. That would 
on a bullish retracement would be uh, the 382, which is where you are supposed to buy. If you're bullish, you buy the 382 um, and looking for a big continuation up on this cup and handle formation. What is the cup and handle here? Well, here's the cup. Boom. Here is the handle. And I used to always wonder, how do you get the measure move? It's basically the, the distance here from the top. And I'm willing to bet they're going it at 159 for Matic. Sloppy drawing, but that is my target for Matic. Uh, breaking out. Taking profit. That's what you got to have in this market, you know, uh, entry, exit, and risk management. If you don't have all three things, you're just kind of gambling and hoping for the best. And actually, you can do that now and make money. Anybody can make money in a bull market. The question is, the great old saying, what is it? Uh, brains with the bull. Don't confuse brains with the bull market, Mr. Smith. That's what I would say, and that's what I would pay. All right. Again, uh, again, I hope you guys had some fun. If you did, if you learned something, uh, Uni, all, whoa, what was that? Oh, tether dominance. Bullish for altcoins, soul Bitcoin. Souls performance against Bitcoin. Uh, same thing, cup and handle. About to break out and shake out um, alongside Solana. That is Solana. Sushi already kind of getting that breakout, uh, completing the W right there and going for more. Looks like short term pullback, though, is in the making. Short term pullback in the making, sir. Um, Rune, the other beast in this market. Rune broke the wedge, hit it, and Rune's good to go. So looking to buy the higher lows on the daily time frame. Uh, where am I a buyer on this one? Well, maybe some here, maybe some here. And then finally, uh, if you're really bullish, if you're really bullish on Rune, that's how I would be building my stack. Um, but, you know, you might want to get some off the 382 right there as well uh, because it might never come back. It might just never come back, sir. It might never come back. Um, the other one I want to bring to our attention is Mr. Neutron. Oh, checking in on Axel too as well. AKT as well. AKT. Looks bullish. Cup and handle didn't even come down for the handle back above uh, 187. Probably going to hit that next target up. Squiggly line bill. That's what. I, that's what I would like to see. Squiggly line bill. NTRN. Uh, do you like this one? Um. Narrative, top secret coin, nobody knows about. Huge, huge potential. We were talking about it, I believe, back here um, or here, somewhere around there. But again, W formation, where are we looking to be a buyer uh, off the 618? Uh, I don't think this one actually comes down that far, though, to be fair. Might not be a bad idea buying off the 382 here. Momentum to the upside on this guy. And then what else? What else? What else? Deviation below the range there. Injective, last one on the list. Actually, gearing up for a big move on injective, guys. I think uh, this one has great potentials for a move up to 21 on the weekly chart for injective. Let's see if I can get a longer history injective. Again, what is this coin? What does it do? What does it mean? It just means up, guys. It just 
you know, look at the stronger charts out there. It doesn't matter what it does. It's got the volume and the highly esteemed internet technology behind it. Well, just let it run, sir. Just let it run back to the high. Come on, Solana. Come on, Solana. Let's go back to the high. Back at least to the high, sir. I got to be the world's worst trader. How many times has my bot ticked off since we've been talking here? Which is crazy. It might not have caught some of this move because, well, we're talking about a 30 second time frame here. And if you guys stayed here till the end of this video, man, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Before I don't, if I don't see you guys, um, I hope you learned something today. If you didn't, make sure you smash the like button. If you want to take a free crypto trading course, there's a link in the description below. Um, I'm giving you all the golden goose egg and nuggets that I can when it comes to other gems. Besides, we all know Bitcoin is the future. Bitcoin is the future and the explosive move I'm looking for on Solana is actually a bit higher. So why isn't the bot showing me what's going on? Why can't I make a decision, guys? Ooh, is that the trade setup we're talking about? I drew it out earlier for us all. I don't know. Did we post it in Discord? Should we post it in Discord? Is that the W? Is that the retest breakout? I'd expect a little sell pressure right there at 64.23. Um, just caught another good trade on this one. And I had a feeling it was going to go for more. And that's why, in fact, that's why I let it go for more. And I think that 786 is going to be my area. So where is that 786? It's at 6420. 6420. Oh, risky Joe Bob right there. Actually, that's where the liquidity is on that 6413. Why am I being greedy? Um, come on, give me a quick pop up there and I will love you for Christmas. Okay, Solana. I will tell everybody to buy you for Christmas. And um, yeah, I guess we can just take a look. That's what I'll be doing the rest of the day, guys. Um, anyways, other than that, uh, Bitcoin sideways and up. Target for me, as I said, was that 25.3. 25.3, I don't know why. It lines up with a lot of trend lines. A lot, a lot of trend lines. And um, I'm looking for all around continuations, continuations. Look at all the lower term time frames are turned up. Volatility is beginning to expand. This is exactly where these moves play out. Um, I wonder if we should watch it live. Live from Orlando. I don't want to get stopped out again. But what would stop you out temporarily is some liquidity. So let's take a look at Solana. which it's hard to hold these things long through all this fun. But uh, definitely 6407. So that is the area. And just in case it gets front run, I'm going to put it right there. No need to be greedy. But that is 
Like if we expect a continuation drive, it probably comes all the way to the top of the range, guys. That's that's at 66 bucks area. Are we gonna get a quick pop to the upside? Or is it just gonna end in a sweet romance at the 786? That is the question. We will follow up on this trade setup tomorrow. Again, uh, ultimately, I think here's where Solana is going actually is 69 bucks uh, in the short term. If you guys did want to trade setup, that's what I'm looking at. And that's it for today, guys. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.